Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to Dining with Desica. On today's menu, we have my delicious chicken thighs and broccoli served over on top of ground wild rice done my way. So let's get started and let's do this. In a large glass bowl, we have one pound of boneless and skinless chicken thighs. Next, we are going to add one tablespoon of seasoned salt, which we are going to make sure that we season on both sides of our chicken thighs. Next, I'm using, that is a chicken herb seasoning, okay? And next, I'm going to add, that is two tablespoons of garlic powder. And remember, we're going to season both sides of our chicken thighs okay I'm flipping them over and remember these are boneless and skinless chicken thighs okay next uh, we're going to continue to season on the other side okay ladies and gentlemen we also are going to be multitasking at the same time in a large skillet I have preheated my stove top two that is a medium temperature i will be adding three tablespoons of olive oil which i will be using a utensil to brush the olive oil evenly over the deep skillet next i will be adding my seasoned chicken thighs to my deep skillet and we are going to place them and space them out in the skillet so they don't stick together and we are going to continue to let cook for about 15 minutes okay because we really want to make sure our chicken thighs are fully cooked okay and I must say the aroma from the chicken thighs smells so good up in this kitchen everyone this is going to be a very delicious dish. We are preparing that chicken thighs and broccoli served over on top of brown wild rice, okay? And this is a delicious dish for Saturday or Sunday meal. You can have wine also with this dish. Uh, the kids are going to love it. It's filling. For everyone and look how beautiful the caramel color of the thighs now that our chicken thighs are completely done I am going to remove them and place them into a glass bowl and set aside for later and I am going to use the same skillet to saute my raw vegetables next I'm adding that is one cup of chopped yellow sweet onions and one cup of chopped green chopped onions, and one cup of chopped red bell peppers. Next, we are going to stir, saute for a good five minutes, and then we are going to continue to add, okay, our onions and bell pepper looks done. So next, we are going to slide it aside, and we are going to add, that is one cup of sliced bella mushrooms, and that is two cups of fresh chopped broccoli okay and we are going to saute our broccoli and mushrooms for about a good five minutes not too long and we're going to add just a little bit more of that seasoned olive oil and that is to make sure that there is a little bit more oil to saute with next we're going to add maybe a dash of that sea salt which will also help with flavor. And next we're gonna add a dash of ground black pepper as well for flavor. And please remember to taste your food as we go. So we're gonna stir these ingredients up together and look how delicious that look. We're also gonna place this in a glass bowl and set aside as well. Next everyone, in the same deep skillet, I'm adding that is four cups of water. 
and we are going to bring this water uh, to a boil okay I'm gonna add that is three tablespoons of butter which is a delicious flavor and also I'm going to add a dash of sea salt and then two tablespoons of our delicious oregano I love oregano in my rice you have to try it especially in my delicious round wild rice which we will be adding here shortly that is going to be also two cups okay you want two cups which is one whole pack of uh, this delicious uh, brown wild rice okay and as you can see I'm stirring that up and I want to make sure I get all of my seasonings that I have in here I'm also going to add uh, a dash of um, that is parsley flakes as well which we are going to let simmer and bring to a boil I'm going to add just a little bit more water and I'm going to place my top over it and I am going to continue let boil for the next 15 minutes okay everyone the rice looks like it's almost completely done very little water left and we want uh, that to uh, continue to simmer for the next five minutes and next we're going to add our delicious vegetables that we sauteed earlier and we are going to stir this into our delicious brown wild rice we have broccoli we have red bell pepper we have onions and this is going to be a delicious dish and don't forget those delicious bella mushrooms okay everyone next we're going to add our delicious chicken thighs over on top of our delicious broccoli browned wild rice this is going to be a delicious dish and I decided to add just a little bit of chicken broth also in this skillet so that it can simmer because we have just a little bit of uh, water still remaining at the bottom of the skillet that we are going to let simmer for like another seven minutes okay everyone our seven minutes is up we are going to remove our top and voila look how beautiful our chicken thighs and broccoli served over brown wild rice I have got to do the taste test just a sample just a sample mm, mm, mm. this is so delicious everyone you have got to try this dish next I have prepared a platter for my delicious chicken thighs and broccoli served over brown wild rice done my way you guys please don't forget to follow me on my YouTube channel you can also follow me on Facebook Instagram and Twitter don't forget to subscribe like comment and share and also Take the time out to go to DiningWithDesica.com and don't forget to download that link down below and that link for that delicious cookbook that is Dining with Desica Southern and Cajun Recipes. Done my way. Enjoy everyone. It's the taste time. Hmm. Look at this broccoli. This looks so delicious. I am going to enjoy this dish. Mmm, 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 mmm. Once again, that was my delicious chicken thighs and broccoli served over brown wild rice. Everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed this delicious recipe. Until next time, please stay safe. Love is love and smooches.